paint on our uh, eight by eight canvas. And I just did the red so that we're gonna do the blue right on top and leave just a little bit of that red showing through just for something a little more interesting than the normal. Okay, so we're gonna use all the exact same colors. We're going to use the Indian turquoise and the Calypso blue again, as well as some whites that I already have on my palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I also brought a brush to the table with me so that I can put a little bit of color on the sides as well. I didn't do that last time and it freaked y'all out, so we're gonna take care of that so I can show you. See, see, I did it so that I can show you that um, I do complete the pieces, so. Love me some Kate. So I'm gonna use just a regular diamond um, cheapo plastic palette knife to um, apply my paint. And I'm gonna do it much like I did the, um, it's all crooked, it's driving me crazy. Much like I did the pear. So we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna start with my middle color. I have dark blue, light blue, white. So I'm gonna start with my middle color and I'm just going to get it on. Let's get it on. I'm gonna do about half the canvas and I'm gonna use my the edge of my blade to get as close to my apple as I can. So who's doing anything fun tonight? Is everybody still on lockdown? No, nobody's doing anything fun. So we'll add a little bit of that darker blue here and there. Add it right around that shadow. Then we'll throw in a little white just for fun, just to lighten it up in a few places so that we have multiple colors happening. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around the canvas. Just random, a little bit of here, a little bit of there. Uh, what time is it, Kate? It's probably, it's, is it in the wee hours? Is it like midnight, 2 a.m., something like that? Kate's in Scotland. Are you still in Scotland? No, are you, are you Scotland? Why am I having a brain fart about that? So we're gonna just keep adding color, leaving some of that red. Hey, Janice. A little bit of white. And I'm just going in all directions. You notice I'm not like going in one direction or making X's. I'm just randomly applying color however my little Palette knife wants to fly past 11. Oh, Rima knows what time it is there. <laughs> Rima knows. All right, just make sure if you're doing this, that you leave some of that red poking through. I got a little too excited right there and covered up a little too much, but that's okay. We'll leave, we'll leave something. Scotland, I thought so. I don't know why, it's been so long since I saw you that I just couldn't remember even where you lived. Eventually, Kate, I'm gonna move back to Destin and you can come see me again. What do you think about that? If we ever get out of the COVID and get to travel, So I'm just keeping on around my canvas. Just, whoops, didn't mean to get that. Your computer, Richard's computer is as old and cranky as he is. Richard, you are the last person I would call cranky. Like seriously, I know some cranky people. <laughs> and you are not cranky, not even remotely. Oh, I have a visitor in the studio again today. Everybody say hi to Dawn. My friend Dawn's here. I went to high school with her. We are, we're going to quarantine here at the house and see how much wine we can drink and uh, 
see if we can't get into trouble in the backyard. So I think we're good. I think that is good. I'm gonna just kind of hit that edge. Now I'm just gonna to have to, I would love to come to Scotland, Kate. I would love it. So I'm just gonna take a brush now and I'm gonna go into, I might need a little bit more paint on my palette, on my little pipe plate. And I'm just gonna hit these edges real quick. Dawn, everybody's saying hello to you. So I'm just gonna hit my edges real quick so that I don't have to worry about drippage once we get our resin going. So just dipping into the colors all three of them really, so that it's not just a solid color. You can see it's just kind of random. Dawn is becoming a fixture in the Art Chatter studio, especially on the week, on the weekends, on our Friday lives. I think that's pretty much consistently where we get together, isn't it? Our Friday lives. Oh, yes. Dawn came over earlier today and brought a little tiny human, her granddaughter, who absolutely fell in love with my cats. She's two years old, just turned two, and before she left here, she knew all, <laughs> that literally knew all the cats' names, just say, just in that short amount of time. I would say, I would ask her, what cat is this? And she would say, Biscuit. What cat is that? Je Jelly Bean or Jelly? Yeah. She knew all those cats' names in just a matter of an hour. It was so stinking adorable. So almost done with these edges. Somebody said you better run away or I'll put you to work. Hey, I, I tried to get her to, <laughs> already tried and she, do, she doesn't boss around easy because I got up here without that cute little silicone mixer that Miss Colette gifted me and I was like, you know, my hip hurts. I don't want to go back downstairs. Will you go get it? She was like, uh, no, I'm too fat. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm too fat too. So we argued about it and then decided nobody was going to get it. <laughs> so that's how that worked. Okay, so now our edges are done as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to, remember how we had purple on the bottom creating a little shadow and it's that plum color from Americana. I'm just gonna get a little smidge of that on, I think I need to scoop this over a little. A little smidge of that on my palette knife and just add that shadow again. Just a little bit of shadow. We'll do a little something for the, like the table that it's sitting on, I guess. We'll give it a place to sit. It's just, just floating in the air. We'll give it a little bit of that plum shadow. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. And let's rinse that off so I can reuse the palette knife. And now, don't, <laughs> Colette said, don't go get the resin thing. <laughs> We're old. In fact, we don't want to go. Oh no, Colette, you shamed her into going. You shamed her. It's on the kitchen table. Um, so now we are, go what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit more red to my palette just over here. Let me try to get this a little more centered. I'm going to add a little bit of red. Whoops, that was too much, but we're going with it. And we're going to do little bit of yellow, and I'm just going to build a little color inside our apple, even though we're gonna use glass and most of it's gonna be covered up. I just want to have a little bit of color underneath, in just in case a little bit of that poke uh, shows through. Because sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I'm gonna get a little teeny bit of purple on my knife because that right there is where the, the uh, stem is going to be. So we'll add a little bit of shadow there. Probably won't show, but you know, maybe you want to do this without the glass, and this gives you a good idea how to do that anyway. So let's add 
some more red, and then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna do a little bit of purple down at the bottom too, just. Oh, Cheryl, come back, baby. We're doing some fun things. You come back whenever you're ready. All right, now I'm gonna get a little bit of red on this edge. Now I'm gonna add just a smidge of that yellow. Most of that's not gonna show, don't panic. A little bit more red on this side. Let me wipe that off. I'm gonna get a little bit of that plum back on my Yes, that's it. This is for facial I know. <laughs> no, we tricked her. She thought she thought she was looking for something to stir with. She didn't know it was gonna be a makeup thingy. So we'll talk all about that in a minute. Okay, so what I wanna do now is, re remember last time, uh-oh, bye, Teresa. <laughs> um, I'm gonna plug in my little fan, and I'm gonna turn this up in front of my fan. Hey, Phyllis, so we can get this dry and get started. So now, while I'm doing that, let me see, I'm gonna mix resin so we don't waste a moment of our lives, right? So I've got myself a little cup, and I went ahead and pre-poured the resin. I'll show you what I'm using. I'm gonna put my gloves on real quick, because that stuff is sticky, sticky. Thank you for sprinkling. <laughs> Pritchard, you're such a trip. I actually am gonna put my hair in a quick ponytail. Hang on. Guys, give me a sec. Hey, Diane. I'm gonna put my hair up real quick because I did get resin in my hair last time. I wore my hair down and I was not very pleased about that. It was a pretty nice chunk. And it was right in the front too. So I'm gonna put my hair up, put these gloves on. So I went ahead and pre-poured um, about three quarters of an ounce of hardener and three quarters of an ounce of resin. So what I use, if you're new here, is art resin and this. You just need whatever resin you're using. Follow the directions on whatever resin you're using for how to mix, how long to mix, etc., etc. Hey, Pam. But this is a 50-50 mix, so we got 50% hardener, 50% resin, and uh, I've got three quarters of an ounce. Ooh, hang on, it looks like. There, I have debris. I got debris in my cup. So I have three quarters of an ounce of hardener. And I'm going to dump that in my little mixing cup. I'm going to get out every smidge that I can so that we can be assured we have an accurate measurement. Because that's the one thing that will screw you up quick is if you don't have your um, resin and hardener properly measured 50-50, it can cause you problems and make your piece stay sticky forever. So there was our hardener. Next we'll pour in our resin. There's three quarters of an ounce of that. And all right, Rima, Miss Dawn's gonna give you a break. She is going to uh, time us, but you feel free to yell at me if <laughs> you feel like I'm uh, not stirring it up. <laughs> That's been Rima's job for two years, to make sure I do what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so we got all of that in, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is, oh uh, yeah, but those cups are so little, Colette, that I didn't wanna use it in that cup. It barely fits in. So I am going to now, I guess it's not that little, is it? See, old habits die hard. So now I'm gonna use this, which is what Colette gifted me. It is actually a silicone 
facial mask applicator, but resin does not stick to silicone. So you can just wipe that right off and, and uh, use it over and over. No, Rima, you've not been demoted. You're on vacation, right? For one night. For one night. So let's mix for three minutes. Ready, set, go, Dawn. And I am going to stir and scrape the sides for three minutes while my little menopause fan dries our art piece. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go get me some of these because this is super cool. And it's way softer than um, like a stir stick. Those things start hurting my hands if I have to mix and measure a lot. So yeah. So I'll try to remember Colette's. I'm just, you know, old habits are hard. You, I'm an old lady, so, you know. So I am stirring. We have to do this for three minutes. So I'm stirring slowly and meticulously, scraping the bottom. This is really good for making sure you get the bottom and sides scraped really well, which will also help to make sure your resin is mixed properly. So we're gonna do this for three minutes. We, you, and the one thing you need to remember is to not just whip it to death, okay? You want to stir um, so, somewhat slowly as to not incorporate a ton of bubbles into your resin. Because if you just whip, 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 whip it really hard like you're beating eggs or something, you're gonna have so many bubbles that you're not going to be able to pop those out and you don't want that. It's not fun. Let's see. Oh yeah, what do you guys think? So I've been thinking and brainstorming and talking to people, talking to friends about what we could do during, cause I'm committing to doing a minimum of two lives a week for you guys, because it just feels better in my life to do it. And so I'm making that commitment. And what I want to know is, um, I've been trying to figure out what I can do that is simple enough that we can do it on a live and fun. So I'm thinking music notes, that is a suggestion I have had is music notes. And also we're gonna do next week uh, for someone near and dear to my heart, we're gonna do a martini glass with olives. So uh, baseballs, magnolias, fleur-de-lis, I would love to know, um, five of them, go Cynthia. I'd love to know what all you guys would like to see me create that is somewhat simple that we can do like, you know, in an hour or less on a Facebook Live here in um, this public domain. One dollar at Dollar Tree. Yes. An anchor, sure, Shannon, that'd be awesome. We'll do an anchor. Oh, is that it? Will you write down anchor, an iris? Write down some of these suggestions, boo-boo. Okay, so I am going to, let's see, it's not quite dry in one area, so I'm gonna hold that on there real quick. I've got plenty of time. We got fleur-de-lis added, a coffee cup. Oh, that is a good idea. I actually made one. I actually made one a while back that, and I made it completely out of coffee beans instead of glass, but I think we should definitely do a coffee cup. So, I wish I could make this um, go faster. I actually have my blow dryer. So y'all close your ears away y'all. Close your ears for one sec and we'll turn this blow dryer on. Give me one minute, or maybe I'm not. That's a great idea, Norma. I love that idea. So we're going to be doing another five-day challenge next month, too. And I'm pretty pumped about what we're doing. Um, I will, as soon as I finish it, I'll be showing it to you guys. I'm going to keep it close to my vest right now. But you guys are going to be so excited about our fall Challenge coming up. I gotta take these gloves off because I can't. I, I'm 
I have got to have my hands on the glass. I cannot handle the glass without the gloves. So, you're off the gimme while I do that real quick. A dolphin is a great idea. Snowman angel, I love that. Okay, so real quick, I have cut out a leaf out of just one of those orbs that I showed you a couple weeks ago. A beautiful Scottish thistle. I think a thistle would be fantastic. So this is just a piece of a green globe and that I cut out and I really liked it because it has multiple colors of green in it. So I thought it would make a fantastic leaf. And I found a piece of glass that I had painted um, with gold spray paint. Can you see that? I can't figure out where to put my hand because I can't see. Uh, with gold spray paint that I'm gonna use for the stem. So before I do that, I'm actually gonna take a little tiny paintbrush. Oh yeah, good, I need to scoot that over just a little. A little tiny paintbrush, put some water, and I am going to make myself just using this purple because it's right in front of me and I don't have anything else. I'm gonna make myself like a little stem for my leaf. And he's just gonna have to be purple. Just a little succulent, great idea. Just a little leaf or a little stem for the leaf. So what we have for red glass is a couple of different things. I'm gonna show them to you really quick. Thanks, Nancy, because we need to get to that resin. I mean, it's good for about 45 minutes, but we don't wanna push our luck. But what I have with me is a few bits of red glass that I like snipped from a vase that I spray painted with red paint. Just a quick spray. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. Thank you. And I also took some Starfire and spray painted that with a little bit of red. Not too much, not too little. You know, it's got varying degrees of color. And I also have a little bit of big fat red rocks and a little bit of red, like small glass that one of my members also gifted me. So we're gonna use a little bit of all of that and it's gonna be super fun. So what I'm gonna start with, since we have some pieces that are a little small, what I wanna start with is just taking my glue. I'm actually gonna just move that a little. I'm gonna take my glue and just give myself a little bit of a glue line around my apple, not all the way to the edge, but fairly close. And that's gonna act as like a dam to kind of keep our glass within the confines of our apple. So, oh Rima, come back and see us, love. So I'm just gonna take some of these big pieces, some of these strips and maybe outline an edge of the apple. That is so cute, y'all. Oh my goodness. So cute already. So I'm gonna outline the edge of that apple just a little bit with that glass. I almost wish I had a ton of it because I think that would be awesome all the way around. Okay, I'm just gonna do that one side. I'm gonna add one more piece with those curved little uh, pieces that I had spray painted. So let me squish this one in. Oh, I love this. So it's gonna have a lot of different things. So the next thing I think I wanna do, I have several options. I have this glass. I have this little bitty glass. Let's add a little bit of that in. That's kind of small. It'll help fill in some voids. But let's add a little bit of this spray painted glass. See, it still has a little bit of translucency. You can see how that piece doesn't have a ton of color, but then this one does. So it has a little bit of translucency, which is gonna be really good for showing, you know, some of the underneath color. So we'll use a little bit of that. And then maybe, I think I'll scoot some of it over a little. 
And then we'll come over here and get some of these bigger chunks and maybe add, oh, let's add these kind of close to the bottom. I'm just adding in anything red I have. So it's kind of super fun. All different types of glass. Does look good enough to eat, doesn't it? So let's just throw in some of that here and there. Add a little more of this here. Let's see, a little bit of this. It's stuck to my finger. I got glue on my finger. We'll add some down here. That piece is a little dark, but I think we're gonna live with it anyway. So I'm just kind of picking out some of the smaller pieces. And next, I kind of want to keep those together. I think next what we'll do is fill in with some of these baby ones. So we'll just take some of this and go around and kind of fill in any gapper with that little bitty baby red. Then we have used almost all of those red pieces. Now, one thing I do have, I don't know, we're gonna test this theory and see what anybody thinks. Oh, I have, oh, I have a piece of red glass. It's kind of clear with a little bit of red on it, and I think we're gonna throw that in somewhere. So we're gonna try it and see if it works, and we'll do that oh, thumbs up, thumbs down thing. Yeah, this red, uh, this red here that I tinted, I used the strawberry tint it. So it was super easy. And you can, um, the more uh, color you put on, the redder it gets. So um, you can kind of control how much color you have. Yes, that's exactly what I used. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. This is kind of cool. So now what I want to do, I want to put this in here, I think, and I'm thinking about putting them just like right here. Oh, guys, look, that is so stinking cute. It's just like the, the light on the apple the, coming down, the reflection. Okay, so we got to work fast because we are going to be in trouble in a minute. So the stem is going to go here. The leaf will go here, and I think we're ready to resin. Let's move all of this aside. Oh, something's under there. I'm gonna grab my risers and let's put that under so we don't make a mess. So I am going to push those under. That'll keep the resin from dripping down. Let me put my gloves back on. It does look like it. You should see it in person. I cannot wait to get the resin on this because it, it looks stinking awesome if I say so myself. <laughs> it's going to be a good friend to the pair. They're going to be BFFs. Oh my God, I can't get my finger. Look, I'm putting two fingers in one hand. I can't get my fingers in the glove. So let's get our gloves on. Save that manicure. Ha, ha, ha. In the leaf cute, it's just a little piece of glass. So I'm actually gonna move both of those off until I get this covered, and then we'll put those back on after we cover them up a little bit. So let's go ahead, and I'm just gonna use this as well to just drizzle on our piece. So we're just gonna drizzle the resin. So I've, I've uh, mixed up an ounce and a half there was three quarters of an ounce of hardener and three quarters ounce of resin. And so I need to go in order, I'm losing my mind. I need to go left to right or I won't know what I did. I don't know why, I'm just anxious to get to that side for some reason. Yes. This is so cute, guys. Oh my goodness. Super dimensional too. It's raised up pretty high on the canvas. 
Oh my goodness. So I like to cover my glass first because if you saturate it really well, then it flows down through the glass and then out the sides and then you're able to use what flows out the sides to um, cover the rest of your canvas without, see how I'm able to drag it away from the side so that you don't waste a lot of resin and then have it dripping all over the edge. OMG, law, have mercy, I'm loving this spreader. <laughs> Catherine, you just became my new BFF. This is awesome. The flexibility alone where it will spread the resin on your canvas. Now I don't have to get my gloves sticky and I can use them multiple times because y'all know I'm all about recycling. Oh my goodness. All right, a little bit more. Cherries would be cute, Nancy. Yes, Rima, we're gonna do martinis next week. I had I went out looking for something um, for to do that with, and I didn't quite find it, so I was uh, holding out. But we're gonna do that uh, on Tuesday. Promise. Cross my heart. You no, know I wouldn't lie to you. You're gonna need her to do your time right at school. Yeah. Dawn said, you have to time your own martini because she's got school on Tuesday. OMG, that is so cute, guys. This spreader, oh my lord. Best thing since sliced bread. Okay, so now what I want to do is put my stem on, but what I'm going to do is just get, I guess I'm going to have to use my fingers, and I'm going to spread it all over all sides of my, uh, let's go this way, all side, nope, this way, <laughs> all sides of my stem so that it's secure really nicely. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my leaf. I'm gonna take a little bit of the resin, just dab it on, and then we'll cover it completely. That makes it a little bit stronger so it's not as fragile as it was. So we'll add that right there, right at the end of that stem. We'll add a little bit more resin over the top. And I'm gonna make sure I get plenty where the tips touch down. I'm gonna scoot it over so it's nice and secure. And guys, we I mixed in an ounce and a half and I still have half ounce left so it really only took one ounce of resin to complete this okay so one ounce for the eight by eight um apple okay so i'm going to take these gloves off and let's play with fire i really have to get a new torch because mine's about empty so i'm using a uh, propane torch you do not have to use a torch you can use like a little kitchen creme brulee style torch or you can use a heat gun but what we do with this is just uh go over it really quickly with just the heat not the flame to pop any of the bubbles that we created when we were mixing resin you don't want your flame to touch your resin and you don't want to stop over the top of your art piece and focus on one spot for a long period of time or you will burn the resin. Guys, look how cute is this. Can you see it? Let me back down a little. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, it is called, here, let me show it to you. It is Sassy and Chic is the name. And it's called Silicone Facial Mask Applicator. I'll take a picture of it and uh, show it and post it for you guys. So is that uh, not awesome? Norma, go to artresin.com and you, will, you can uh, order your resin from there. But they also sell it at Hobby Lobby. So is this cute or what? So cute. Let's look at it close up. Look. Look, 
He's so cute. Look at his little leaves. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love how it's different here than it is here. And I love that little one piece of glass that I added to that side right there. It just makes it stand out.